going to be out again. Um, back out on a, another really nice sunny day. Um, still got a very cold wind though. And it's uh, Grand National Day today. But uh, obviously not allowed to go down and didn't bother getting tickets this year, which is a good thing. So without detecting, uh, back in the uh, what we call the silver field here, uh, because there has been so much silver come off it over the, the last few years, and uh, thought to just give it a couple of hours in the afternoon, see how we get on, and um, hopefully uh, might pick up a few bits and pieces. It's been half an hour now. Um, uh, two bits of lead and a couple of bits of aluminium and uh, anyway we've got a signal here um, quite a solid signal, it was a 65 though so expecting probably a shotty or a button, who knows ah. it? yep uh, oh I don't know do you know what? That is not a shotty and it's not a button. That is a Roman coin. Well, would you believe this? That is a Roman coin, yeah. Little numbers of some description. Well, how fabulous is that? Right, first Roman of the of the year. And uh, first find of the day. Well, been an hour now. Um, I've had oh, a few bits of lead, um, bits of uh, foil, not very much at all really, no buttons, nothing like that. Um, but again, another signal here, this one. Uh, where are we? Oh, four inches, four inches, maybe five inches. Uh, detector tells me it's in this bit. This bit here, so I hope it, ah, I, was say, I hope it didn't lie. Oh, there we go. There we go, just there. It does look it looks like a coin. Little little hammered copper. I think maybe a tournoi, double tournoi, possibly. Get that off of there. Or maybe it's the button. Ah, it's a button. I really thought that was a coin. Another signal here, um, good 8283 signal, and uh, no doubt about this one being a coin. It's right there, it's a copper coin. Um, it has been quite deep. This came out of the bottom of the hole, so that's uh, what seven inches down there, and uh, yeah, absolutely blank, I think. Uh, can't see anything on that at all. Okay, something may come on it later on. We we'll get it cleaned up a bit, but it's a half penny anyway. I'm pretty sure of that. And it is a coin. A 6668 signal here. Um, I dug it expecting a, a shotty, 
Um, it was copper, but not a chassis. Um, still in the soil there, you can see, is a thimble, possibly a whole one, but squashed. Uh, yep, squashed thimble. Uh, looks like Victorian as well, I would say. But uh, okay, still a nice find. Another signal here. Uh, this one coming up at um, 78 to 82, and uh, it's in this slice here. Um, yep. Somewhere. Okay, this bit. And we have another button. All right then, uh, out again, same field as, as before, um, same interested uh, flock of onlookers and uh, managing to get out a few hours this morning, I'm probably going to have to pack it in at lunchtime, so we'll crack on and see what we can find, um, kind of a nice day so far, but it is forecast for rain later this evening, so like I say, we'll, we'll get on up to where it finished last time and see if anything else comes up. Come back and let you know. Well, first signal here, um, only a few minutes in. A good uh, 78 to 89. Um, it was the 89 was coming the, after I dug the, the sod out. Um, and it's uh, seven inches down there. And a uh, nice little disc. I suspect this is a tomback button rather than a coin and yep absolutely what it is um, 18th 19th century tomback button a plain one by the look of it but hey it's a find let's keep going Got a good uh, double belt on here. Um, it's coming up at uh, quite solid 86. Um, <coughs> right, let's see what we got there. Okay. I uh, know there's something there. Ah. Looks like another button. Or maybe not, maybe not. Maybe. I'll get some of this off. Uh, Oh, that's possibly a um, hammered copper. It is. Pretty sure that's a coin. Great, okay. Um, 
a lambert copper coin, maybe a turner, maybe a tournoir. Um, we'll clean it off later on and see, but yeah, that's a good start to the morning. Wonderful job. This one was uh, ringing up between 62 and 78, uh, very deep, um, but nice double belt on there coming in at 64. Probably, I suspect this one's possibly a, um, a shotty at those kind of numbers, but it might not be so. Where are you now? No, that's not a shot yet, I don't think. Not sure what it is, but... Oh, it's a coin. Or parts of a coin. I can see a cross in the middle. Um, well, there's a thing. No idea what that is, but... Uh, there's definitely a cross on there, I can see. Right, we'll get that cleaned up and uh, see if we can identify it. But pity it's only a, a partial, but it is what it is, and, and it is another coin. A good signal here. Um, this was um, an 82 and uh, I dug the sod out and as you can see it's only up 3-4 inches. Um, so you can get into it, there's the, there it is in the sod. Possibly a, oh I was going to say possibly a musket ball but it's not. It's, uh, it's um, a harness pin. Um, yep, copper alloy probably 17th maybe 18th century but uh okay it is another fine though oh really good signal here it was coming up at uh solid 83 it's uh, okay, it's turned out sort of 85, 86. Um, I'm pulling the, the plug on the headphones um, because uh, a couple of people have said they'd like to hear the, the tones and see, see the numbers. Um, so that's what I'm trying to do. Uh, oh, okay. There we go, looks like possibly a button, possibly a possibly another coin. Maybe another turner this one. Um, Scottish turner possibly. Right, okay, potentially coin number three for the day. Um, doing not too bad. Right, the initial signal here was 78 to 83 and uh, I kept digging and kept digging and look, nine, 9 inches down there, maybe 10 inches possibly, 10 inches I think, right at the bottom um, it came out, now what we've got, it's in the spoil obviously, uh, Coming up 83, 86. And uh, 
Let's see what we got on this one. Hmm. Right, okay. Uh, lump of lead. Has been so possibly part of a toy cannon. We'll go with on that, I think. Yep, that's it. Uh, possibly. Don't know. Um, it's obviously, it's been something at some stage. You can see the groove there. Alright, nothing hugely spectacular though. Let's keep moving. Bit of a strange signal here. Um, just coming out as 68 to 78, um, which generally is a shotty, but you have to dig them anyway. So this one is, or was, where are we? Seven inches down. Yep, right from the bottom there, and it's out amongst the, the spoil. see that now. Anyway, it's there. So, what have we got? Um, oh, I don't believe it. Wow. What we've got, and that's probably why it was such a duff signal, is a bent over hammered silver coin well 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 now then there's a thing right we are going to try and straighten that later but i'll leave it at the moment and uh hopefully we can straighten it and get an id but absolutely fabulous so one two three four coins two hammered coppers um hammered silver and a looks like silver washed copper parcel coin no idea what it is never seen anything like it but uh but yeah hammered silver here we go again wonderful first one of the year It's 86 signal here. Uh, took the sod out, looked down, and right here, obviously dropped out the bottom of the sod, is, uh, yep, it's another coin. It is another coin, very, very worn. Don't know if there's anything on that at all. Um, possibly the suggestion of a head on that side, I think. Okay, not quite sure. Um, we'll do what we can do with it and uh, see if we can ID it, put a date on it maybe. But I suspect it's a farthing. Looks about the size for a farthing. Um, no, don't know. We'll, just, we'll see if we can ID it uh, once it's been cleaned up a little bit. <laughs> 